Before we go tonight, we are going to head back out to Yo Field. Curtis, they have to feel good about themselves going into next week. What a win for the Yeoman. Well, hey there, Jessica. It's been an exciting night of high school football around the area. The final here at Yo Field, the Yeoman 35, Troy nothing. That clinches a playoff spot for the Cameron Yeoman. They finished the regular season four and six. Now, the playoff picture coming out of District 10, 3A Division One is a little interesting. Tonight, Cameron Yo. McGregor and Troy were all vying for the final two playoff spots in the district. A win tonight guaranteed that Yo would have a shot at a playoff uh, at a playoff spot, and an 11 point or more win would clinch one for the Yeoman. Well, they got a 35 nothing win, so they're in. Which means that last playoff spot comes down to McGregor and Troy. Should Troy beat McGregor next week at home, the Trojans get the four spot should get the four spot. That moves Cameron Yo to the three seed out of the District 10. If McGregor beats Troy, that puts the Bulldogs at the three seed and the Yeoman as the four. So right now, all they know is they're in. And I was talking to Coach Brashear after the game here in Cameron. He was saying they can't even really start preparing for any particular team because the playoff picture out of District 9 is equally wacky. If you look at the top of the district tonight, Teague beat Malikoff. That's, a same, that's the same Malikoff team that beat West, and that West Trojan team beat Teague. So that district, they don't know who they're going to play out of it because the seating over there in District 9 has yet to be determined. At this point, Tro Troy still has a shot at finishing the regular season 4-6 and six with a playoff spot just like the Yeoman did. So it's going to get really, really interesting during Week 11. Right now, the Yeomen are just thrilled. They've got two more weeks of practice. They've got at least one playoff game. And they've got next week their bye week. So it's an exciting time here in Cameron Yo. This has been a roller coaster of a season for the Yeoman. Things started off well when they beat Belleville here at home. After that, the Yeoman lost five straight games, something you don't really think of when you think of this storied high school football program. They turned it around against Gerald. And again, like that's that's where it kind of started in the second half of the season. Everything started to click in the Gerald game. Yeah, they lost to Rockdale after that. But then they looked really good against Academy last week. And Zach Andrus looked as poised in the pocket tonight as he's looked all season long. He's our former Gridiron Player of the Week for a huge performance he had at Gerald. Tonight he had four passing touchdowns. In fact, until an 83-yard touchdown run from Davion um, excuse me, his last name slips my mind at this point. From an 83-yard touchdown run with about a minute left, he had all of the Yeoman points tonight. So he played an outstanding game, and he has kind of been a weapon alongside Iverson, Westbrook, and a few others that he depends on here in Cameron. But it's been an awesome second half of the season for the Yeoman. They were able to put stuff behind them. Games they weren't really out of. Only one of their losses this season was a blowout. That was the battle for the bell here at Yo Field against Rockdale. The rest of them, their their biggest loss was six points other outside of the uh, Rockdale game this season. So it's been an awesome second half of the year. Troy still has a shot at getting into the playoffs as the four seed. Now last year, remember, it was the same situation. We went to McGregor. Our, our game of the week last Last year, week 11, Troy at McGregor, winners in the playoffs, loser goes home. It's the same situation next week in Troy. So District 10, 3A Division 1, that's this one with Cameron Yo and Troy and McGregor is, an, is in an unbelievable situation at this point. We know Rockdale is in, we know Franklin is in, but Franklin beat Rockdale tonight. We know Cameron Yo is in, we do not know that fourth spot. But it's kind of the same situation over in District 9. Nobody out of here, out of this district here knows who they're playing in round one at this point. All we know is the Yeoman are in and they can enjoy a bye week knowing there's a, there is a tomorrow. That's going to do it for our Friday Night Lights coverage here at our Don Ringler Chevy and Toyota Game of the Week. Jessica, it's been a blast out here. I hope it's been a blast back in Temple for you, back in the air conditioning. It's been humid here <laughs> all night, but we're going to wrap up our Game of the Week coverage. We will see you next week, week 11, the final week of the regular season. It feels like it's flown by. Live in Cameron tonight, Curtis Quillen, Channel 6 Sports. Jessica, back to you. Thanks, Curtis. I